We know much less about the contributions which women have made to society than we know about men's achievements, largely because history has mostly been written as his story by men. Women's voices have mostly been ignored or silenced. One of the primary ways in which news media perpetuate unhelpful stereotypes of women and men is through story framing, and much of that framing is established by who is asked to speak and comment. If journalists must react to and report on events which happen in the world, some of which are entirely random acts of nature or violence, where others are carefully orchestrated and planned, they can nonetheless still choose who speaks in and about those events. Part of the issue of sources relates to the use of established news routines by which events and actors are accorded a credibility ranking. Researchers who have explored source use argue that most journalists rely on a narrow range of preferred sources, the vast majority of whom are men in authority, who we might call the usual suspects. The voices of minorities, of women, of the dissident, the disadvantaged, the migrant, these voices are rather less frequently heard. This means that the news that we, the public, consume is routinely viewed through the lens of a very narrow and unrepresentative group of commentators, whose privileged position silences everyone else, every other view. Women are experts in all fields of knowledge production. They are elected political representatives. They head up research labs. They are CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. So why are so few asked to speak on the issues about which they are undoubtedly well qualified? How different would the news look if it included more diverse voices and points of view on topics and events which impact our lives? The point to make here is that news is constructed. It doesn't just happen. The stories that we read, watch and hear are the result of many small and big decisions taken in the newsroom by journalists, editors and producers who make conscious and deliberate decisions about whose voice and view is included and who's dismissed, who can speak and who must stay silent. The challenge then for diversity and inclusion is to encourage journalists to change the way they think about news, think about their audience, to understand that mail ordered news is not all there is, it's not all we want. In Morocco, the broadcaster 2M has initiated a directory of expert women, which journalists can use to identify women as potential sources and commentators and such directories now exist in a number of countries. Let's hear from Khadija Bujanwi, who heads up the Equality Committee at 2M, about why they decided to do this.